simplifying algebraic expressions. So this is just a review of some of the things that we've learned probably in year 8 about simplifying algebraic expressions. When we ask you to simplify, what it means is to write this in the most compact or efficient or useful manner without changing the value of the expression. Now in algebra we include getting rid of any times or divide signs and usually you'll expand out any brackets um, but we're starting without expanding so we'll skip past that. Now what simplifying will mean then is expand any brackets now this isn't always the best thing to do because sometimes it's really useful to have the brackets there and this will, will show you why much later on. In general at the moment though, if you don't see a good reason not to, expand any brackets. And again, we won't touch on this much in this video. Just a bit of a reminder that if I've got negative 2ab all in brackets. That's not something that needs expanding. They're just popping the brackets around it to say, hey, there's a negative attached to this whole term. Because there's no sum to be done and nothing outside the brackets that says we can expand it, um, there is one other case when this says something a little bit meaningful, and I'll talk about that when we get to it. But if you don't see a sum to be done, or something outside the brackets like a power or a coefficient then it's usually just saying hey this negative belongs here expand any brackets now if you're multiplying and we'll go through this in more depth as we go through then you multiply the coefficients and use index laws for multiplying the pronumerals. If we're dividing, absolutely write it as a fraction. Do not try to get away without writing it as a fraction. I cannot stress this sufficiently. Write it as a fraction, cancel any common factors. We'll go through this. And if we're adding or subtracting, then we gather like terms. Because multiplying and dividing works differently to adding and subtracting. And we need like terms for adding and subtracting. If there's multiple operations, so there's a mix of multiplying or dividing or adding and subtracting, use order of operations. I'll just say bod mass, but obviously order of operations. So, adding or subtracting. We must remember that we can only add or subtract like terms. And like terms have the same pronumeral factors. Now, in year 8, we probably said the same pronumeral parts with the same powers, but we're simplifying that to say the same pronumeral factors. So, if I write 3x squared, the pronumeral factor here is x squared. If I write 3x, the pronumeral factor is x. They are not the same. And a good way of illustrating why they're not the same is if I said, let this here be x, then x squared would be that squared. These are not the same thing. They don't look the same. We can't count them as being the same thing. One is a line, one is a square. They are totally and utterly different. 3x squared means three of these. This is 3x squared. 
this is 3x. That's it. They're different things. We can only add up or subtract like terms because we're counting how many of a particular thing we have. Here I'm counting how many x's I have. I've got three of them. Here I'm counting how many x squareds I have. I've got three of them. Remember, of course, that if there's no number in front of the pronumeral, then the factor or the coefficient that is numerical is 1. So x is the same as 1x. So when I'm asked to simplify, we gather like terms, remembering that the sign, positive or negative, goes with the term to its right. So this is, I am subtracting 2x. This is, I am adding 4. And there's no sign here, so it's got a plus. This is, I'm adding 3x. You can rearrange when you're adding and subtracting as long as you keep the signs with the correct terms. So if you're ever stuck at all, rearrange so all like terms go together. And if you want, so that it's, you know, 3x minus 2x is easier than negative 2x plus 3x. Put your larger or more positive values first. 3x minus 2x plus 4. You must keep the whole value of the expression here. Do not just do 3x minus 2x. Oh, that equals x, and now I'll put my plus 4 in. If you say equals, it means these are equivalent and equal. 3x minus 2x is 1x, which we write as x. Plus 4. These are not like terms. The pronumeral factor here is x. This has no pronumeral factor. It's a constant. I cannot add these together. That We're not counting the same thing. This is saying I've got 1 of whatever x is, and I've got 4. So here, again, you can rearrange keeping your like terms together. 3x plus 4x. plus 2y minus 7y. Now these lines that I'm doing in purple aren't really necessary, but if you are at all confused about adding and subtracting in algebra, then you should do them because they support you to get the right answer. I've got 3x's and 4x's. I no doubt have 7x's. That's all we're doing. This is not 7x squared. I am just counting 3 lots of x plus 4 lots of x is 7 lots of x. Do not fall into the trap of trying to change the power of your pronumeral factor because you would suddenly go from counting these to counting these. You cannot change what it means when you simplify. Plus 2y minus 7y means minus 5y. x and y are not the same. These are x's, these are y's. We cannot put them together. This is as simple as it gets. 8ab squared minus 9ab minus ab squared plus 3ba. Order doesn't matter. ab is the same as ba because I could rearrange this because multiplication order can be rearranged and that would be fine. Usually you'll go for alphabetical order. 8ab squared minus 1ab squared is 7ab squared minus 9ab plus 3ab minus 6ab. So be very careful with your like terms. When multiplying, as I said, our rules are multiply the coefficients, then use the index laws to multiply pronumerals. This is because you can rearrange multiplication. This just means 3 times 2 times b. I can do the 3 times 2 first, 6, and remove the time sign for b. Again, there's a rearranging that can happen here. We could write this is negative 2 times 3 times a times a times b. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. a times a, use your index laws, it's a squared times b. 
That's all we need to do. You don't need to show this line of working because you know that you multiply the coefficients and you use the index laws to gather your powers. You can always do this line of working if you're not sure because this working supports you to get the right answer. Division. I'm going to take a little while on this. Sorry, it's a longish video. As I said, when we divide, you write it as a fraction and I have lost track of my page where I did all my notes about what I want to say here. And you cancel common factors. Now, I will briefly remind you why we can cancel common factors here, but this is going to take a little while. Sorry, I'm getting to a long video. I can write this any, these are all factors. 6 is a factor, A is a factor, B is a factor, because the only thing happening between these is times. Same here. 18 is a factor and B is a factor. And factors of 18 include 6 and 3. So I could write this as 6 times A times B over 6 times 3 times B. And when you've got multiplications as the only things gluing your term together, that's actually the same as writing this as 6 over 6 times a over 3 times b over b. And since 6 divided by 6 just cancels out to 1, I can divide the top and bottom of this fraction by 6 and just get 1 left there. I'm doing this quite creatively with my working because we know that 6 over 6 is 1. And 1 times anything doesn't change that anything. This is 1 as well. That goes away. All I'm left with is a over 3. Now, we don't have to do this working. This is showing you how it works. But if you get stuck, do it. This does not work with plus signs or minus signs on top or bottom of a fraction. It only works with factors because multiplying by 1 doesn't change anything. If I'd wanted to do this straight here, I would cancel the b at the top and bottom and divide top and bottom by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 1 times a is a. 3 times 1 is 3. This one, you must rewrite it as a fraction. You may not do this without rewriting it as a fraction. I'm sure you're perfectly capable of doing straight from here to the answer, but every so often doing that will mean you screw up and I will not be pleased because I've told you it's going to be easier as a fraction. It's also more correct as a fraction. Now that, ah, must come back and talk about this. Running out of time. There is some ambiguity in this. There are two ways you could translate this. This would be more correct if, like here, that said divide by 2y in brackets. This is more correct if we put brackets around that because that says very clearly you are dividing this term by this whole term. If those brackets aren't there, there is a doubt whether or not I should do 12 times a squared times b divided by 3 times a times b, or whether I should do all of this divided by all of that. Putting the brackets in removes that doubt. Also, writing it as a fraction removes that doubt, because when I have a fraction, there are brackets, invisible ones, around the top and bottom. So writing as a fraction is more correct. 
If I gave you this in a test without those brackets, you'd probably assume I meant the brackets were there, but it would be careless of me. So once we've got this, then we cancel common factors. Try to find a pen color that works. 3 goes into 12 and 3, leaving me with 1 and 4. a squared divided by a leaves me with just a on the top, and the b's cancel out, leaving me with 4 times a, which is 4a on the top, and 1 on the bottom, because everything else cancelled down to 1, 1 times 1 times 1, so this is 4a. Here, they've been quite clear about what's happening, and I've got order of operations to consider. 5x times negative 2xy divided by 2y. Order of operations says this happens first because left to right multiplying and dividing. 5 times negative 2, negative 10. x times x, x squared times y divided by, write it as a fraction, 2y. Now, cancel common factors. 2 goes into both of these, leaving me with 5 and 1. The y's cancel out. And I have negative 5x squared over 1, negative 5x squared.